Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. My guest had a baptism of love. And let me tell you what happened. This love leaks out of him wherever he goes. It almost becomes atmospheric. He has spoken to over one million Muslims that have had experiences with Jesus. Well, like, I, I have heard of being immersed in water. I've heard of being immersed in the Holy Spirit. I've even heard of being baptized in fire. But I haven't heard a lot about being immersed in the love of God. Now, you were raised uh, in a Christian family. Uh, you you uh, uh, walked in signs and wonders. Angels came into your home. Uh, your children, your, your wife loved the Lord, but you had a love deficit. What do you mean by that? Well, uh, I, I didn't even know that there was a black hole in my soul, uh, but I was always living for God, but I didn't know how to live from God. And so I was an achiever more than a receiver until in year 2000, uh, through a lot of difficulties, uh, uh, because uh, I had a Holy Spirit visiting, but I didn't know how to have the Holy Spirit to stay. And uh, through an encounter in uh, Florida in year 2000, uh, I had an encounter with uh, Papa God that uh, literally transformed my life, and that's what I call a baptism of love. Okay, <laughs> you got, I'm all ears. <laughs> what happened? Well, uh, I was actually with a group of leaders in a room, and uh, the singer, he says, Leif, I have this song for you. It is a song from God as a father to you. And he started to play and sing. His name is Dennis Jernigan. And it was just a small group of us in a room. And then as he started to sing, it was literally as heaven opened up and these waves of liquid love. I ended up on the floor laying there and it was these waves and waves of liquid love that just continued to flow. And then it went back to when I was 12 years old, when there was a pain and abuse that took place, and this love just went in and just healed it. Then it was the 15-year-old boy, and it just continued. It was almost a journey through my life. And then it's the only time I've heard an audible voice clearly that I know was audible, and that was God says, Leif, you're my, and you're my beloved. You're my beloved son. I love you, and I am well pleased with you. And it was the first time in my life. You know, most people, and they should believe it because it's in the Bible, but they don't believe it. How come? Well, I, I think like myself, uh, theologically, I, I understood it, I had learned it, and, but I had not experienced it. And, and there can be many different reasons, I think, and natural fathers can often have to do with how we see our Heavenly Father. Actually, God that I served most of my life, He was kind of a little bipolar in nature. He seemed, he seemed to kind of be in a mood swing, and it was always up to me to please Him until this day in year 2000, where I actually saw a God that looked like Jesus, and that God changed me. So I got me a father like Jesus. I think that sometimes our view of Him has to do with the culture or 
perhaps natural fathers or other things that we have learned. Because I learned in Sunday school that Jesus, he was kind of the good guy that stood between me and God. And if he has not been there, I would be in deep trouble. So I kind of stayed away from the Father. But I didn't realize that Jesus, he came to show us the Father. And he came to return us back again to the Father. And to have an encounter with the Father's love. The very love that he had experienced. John 17, 26. He wants that love to be in you and I. Now, he even had you change your whole frame of reference uh, when you look at people. Like, for instance, when you came home and looked at your wife, what did he tell you about your wife? Well, I, I realized when I looked at my wife that I've had totally wrong glasses because so far in my life, I, I never did enough. No matter how much I did, I should have done more. But of course, that's the same way I view my wife, because my view of him is reflected how I see myself, and how I see me is how I see my wife, my children, and the world. So after this encounter, I realized that, wow, he really loves me, and he's actually pleased with me. I started to see the pleasure in my wife, and it's like, wow, I started to see the beauty in my wife. And I still remember the day when God says, I am your father-in-law. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch out. <laughs> he is the one that gave me that girl, and the way I handle and take care of his girl. I started to see how the father viewed his girl, which now was my beloved. So I started to have to change the way that I saw her and started to see her the way that he saw her. And I just fell in love all again. And then I started to see my children totally differently. And I had four kids and still have it today, but they are grown up now. But just the way, and then the way I started to see the world change, especially as I started to travel around the world, I recognized that I really love people. And I started, I didn't see people the way they were, but the way they were going to be. I didn't see the terrorist Saul, but I saw the apostle Paul. I didn't treat people based upon their history, but their destiny. Something changed with my love glasses. So what happened to your love deficit? <laughs> well, uh, I, I'm not going to say right away, but he had dealt with a root issue. It was still a journey that I continue. I, I had to continue to drink of his love because you first receive it and what you're beholding, you're becoming. And now what you're becoming, you're releasing. So this was a new journey with me as being, a, instead of being a leader or they called me all kinds of titles and names, now I'm a little boy with a big papa and a big dad. And something changed because all I do is what my father is doing. All I say is what my father is saying. And, and he has given me an A plus on my report card. So the starting point is fullness instead of measure. Can I get an A plus? <laughs> you have an A plus, Sid. <laughs> can, can, can our people watching right now have an A plus? Tell them. You can definitely have an A plus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when we come back, we'll see how this understanding of A plus results when he meets radical Muslims. Guess what? The Bible says love never fails. Mm. It's true. Be <laughs> right back. <laughs> we'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Life is always in motion. Mankind builds grows, moves, advances. We get so caught up in our chaotic routines that it's easy to forget. In the midst of life's chaos, one thing remains the same. As we face life's obstacles and struggles, we can turn to the promises of the one who never changes. Curious, like, uh, you've been to Pakistan, you've talked to many radical Muslims, well known ones. If you had not had this immersion, this baptism of love, could you have possibly walked in the arenas you're walking in now? 
I do not think so. Uh, I, I often say that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And in Islam, all Islam is rooted in fear. And perfect love casts out fear. So it is not until we get a perfect love towards them and starts to see them. So when Jesus saw this terrorist Saul, he saw the Apostle Paul. And that's the way he treated him. So during my journey, when after this love encounter, uh, I learned how to love them without a hook, without an agenda. Not so they could get saved or healed or delivered. or because Before, it was always an assignment. It's what I was doing instead of who I was. But well, now, there's a big difference. There's a major difference because it is not what you do that makes you who you are. It is who you are that makes you do what you do. Hmm. Okay, you, uh, you, you've had many trips to, uh, to Muslim places. Uh, you can't mention names, but you told me. And <laughs> these are, uh, I'm, I, I'm amazed that he's back on <laughs> some of the people he's saying. Tell me about uh, two of your trips to Pakistan. One of the trips was kind of a fascinating because we went into an area where the gospel had never been before. And uh, it started actually out that there was 200 Christian homes and 80 businesses that was burned. And, and, and I was listening to some of the story and I realized that the problem is not darkness, but the lack of light. And uh, so I had to change the way that I was seeing it first because it is my family over there, brothers and sisters. I first had a, a, a attitude until God says, I want you to see the way that I see it. And I want you to see them. So we went. I mean, they were, some of these Christians were slaughtered. The churches were destroyed. And they weren't just slaughtered, they were painfully they, they, slaughtered. They were painfully and slaughtered. Raped. Awful. Yeah, so I, I knew that my assignment was to be able to go over there and to be able to uh, teach the language of love, which is the language the blind eyes can see and the deaf ears can hear. And uh, so the, one of the first incidences that I think was very significant, it was actually I had meditating on a scripture verse, John 17, 26, where Jesus says, Father, I have declared your name among them, and I will declare it, that the very love, Father, that you have towards me, that love is going to be in them, and I in them. And it started, the ripple effect that changed the environment started with one Muslim leader who's well known all over the world. His son was in the hospital, and he had become quadriplegic, but he was on ventilator. And I was sitting there in the hotel, and this verse started to meditate. And it was like the Holy Spirit said, would you take, and I have only one son, his name is Leif Emanuel, would you take your only son, Leif Emanuel, and would you let him be a quadriplegic and a vegetable so this Muslim son could be healed? And first I thought, is this the devil or is this the Holy Spirit? But this whisper continued until I said, Father, I, I do not know how to love this way. And as I sat there, Waves of love just came over me. Less than 10 minutes afterwards, this top Muslim leader calls my coordinator. We're in a city totally apart. And he says, they call me Dr. Leaf. They said, where's Dr. Leaf? And they said, he's here in the hotel having breakfast. He says, no, I just saw him in another city. And he, he is on his way to the hospital. And he said, I just called the hospital. My son is now off the ventilator. And that opened up the door. He brought all these other top Muslim imams around to be able to describe this love that he experienced. He actually came to the United States, and I had a group of leaders where he again described this encounter of love that he experienced. But he saw also what happened to his son. And then I just was thinking, that was just one drop compared to the ocean of love that the Father God has towards these people. So when I talk to you about this baptism of love, and you say to me, it's still happening, it means that there's no limit to the amount of love we can walk in. <laughs> It's an ocean of love. And, and I think I've just tasted a little bit so far. But, and I continue to get upgrades. I've had several other encounters that has just started to change the environment. Around in a lot of the Muslim world, they call me the ambassador of love. The in, Muslims The Muslims, call you yeah. They call me the ambassador you of love. You told me when they, that started. Tell me about it. Well, it, it actually is interesting because I was with two of my friends, Bill Johnson and Randy Clark. We were doing a healing school. And I asked Bill, I said, Judith Franklin, who is his personal assistant, could she pray for me? Because I knew... I I needed something and because uh, she had some time praying and we were in South Southampton, England and when she prayed for me I had an encounter where I was sitting in a park bench and Jesus came up to me and Jesus said what, what do, you do you want, want to, to ask me? me and I had first all these questions why did I have a broken neck or back or what about the tumor first I was having all those questions but I didn't say it and then I said Jesus do I really, do I really love, you? love you that was the struggle of my heart do I really love you 
And in the next moment, the president, he touched me. He didn't say anything. And I'm sitting in that room soaked wet with tears, uh, being a Norwegian. And then Judith said, let me tell you what happened. You were up, and here is a park bench. Jesus came up to you, and she said, in the next five years, all over the Muslim world, they would call you the ambassador of love. And two months later, I'm there in a meeting with 300 imams, and one of the top leaders with kind of a dark eyes is looking and staring at me. And first I'm thinking, am I in trouble? But as he comes up to me, he says, you are the ambassador of the love. Who told him? He starts to prophesy. Then I went to the Shia Muslim headquarter. Same thing happened. Then I went to another place. And then I remember the word of Judith Franklin. And I realized it was not just my sanctified imagination. Actually, I've had an encounter. This is something that heaven saw about me. And now even the Muslims themselves can see it. And as a result of that, uh, something started to change in the way that I represented him here on earth. Now, how in the world do you speak in Muslim countries with tens of thousands of Muslims coming to hear you? Well, it, there is something called favor with God and favor with men that happens when environment starts to change. Because when you're going into an environment that is full with fear, and perfect love now starts to leak in and change the environment, because perfect love casts out fear. So every time fear comes against me, it's an invitation for me to have an upgrade in love. So, because every time fear is there, it's an invitation for me to have more love. And now I get that love, and then I leak love. So what I do is I tell the people to come here to this meeting, like I do these stadium meetings that you have seen, what we call it a healing festival, and you're going to see that Jesus loves you, and God is a God of love. You're going to see lame people walking, blind people seeing. You're going to see these creative miracles. These people are coming for many different reasons, but when they come there, they have an encounter, they have an experience. And when the environment is changing, and thousands and thousands of people who starts to get healed, and creative miracles starts to happen, then I get to explain to them about this love, that there is a God that actually loves you, and, and there is a Jesus who is here. And Isn't that the way Jesus proclaimed the gospel? He demonstrated the kingdom, and then he earned the right to present the gospel. We've had it backwards. When we come back, Leif told me this just happened. He had an adventure in the heavenly realms with wisdom I'll let him share it when we, he comes back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Everything Jesus did, he did out of an abundance of supernatural, unconditional love. Leif Hetland has been operating in this same powerful anointing, which unlocks God's blessings, healings, miracles, and provision for your everyday life. Now he wants you to be transformed through this powerful impartation. Call now and get Leif Hetland's Supernatural Love Transformation Package, which includes Leif's two life-changing books, Baptism of Love and Transformed by Love, plus his three-part audio CD teaching set, The God Kind of Love. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9298. Through the powerful impartation you will receive from Leif's Supernatural Love Transformation Package, you will see these results. Hear God's voice clearly and experience His love and mercy in a way like never before. Receive this impartation and your prayers will break through to the throne of heaven. Watch the heavens open with signs, wonders, and miracles. Leif Hetland prays a powerful prayer of impartation, which will transform you and literally change the atmosphere around you. When you read the book, when you listen to the material, your faith is going to grow, and then Leif is going to pray for you the way he's prayed for thousands to be baptized in love. He that dwells in love dwells in God. Interested in dwelling in God? Don't miss out on getting Leif Hetland's Supernatural Love Transformation Package, which includes Leif's two life-changing books, Baptism of Love and Transformed by Love, plus his three-part audio CD teaching set, The God Kind of Love, yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9298. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 92. Or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Uh, 
<laughs> These guests always provoke me to jealousy. Uh, you had this heavenly experience recently. Tell me about it. Well, uh, in June, after a long period of time, because I've had a lot of broken bones through some of my travel, uh, I had to have surgery in my back. And it was kind of, a, I learned the hard work of rest, because for 13 weeks I had to be on my back. And I first struggled with it because I felt it was like a second-class healing in regard to it. But God says, no, this is not a second-class healing. And six days into, after my surgery, I was just laying in bed there. And in the next moment, uh, I knew that God whispered to me and he said, uh, son, you have loved me well and you have loved the world well, but you have not loved you the way that I love you. And in this next season, I want to teach you how to love you the way that I love you. And in the next moment, my spirit started to travel. And he said, I I'm just relax. I'm just going to invite you to see what I see. And then I want you to feel what I feel. Then you're going to think what I think so that you can do what I do. And for the next three and a half hours, it was just a, a, a unbelievable experience. At moments I was there in bed, and in other moments I was traveling even to different places of the world or into the future of seeing things that were to come. But he says, before you're going there, he says, I want you, Leif, to see you the way that I see you. And then I want you to think about you the way that I think about you. And for you to feel about you the way that I feel about you. And then to say about you what I have to say about you. And that started a transformation process that was for the next 28 days. It just continued to be, Papa, God, what do you see about me? What do you feel about me? What do you think about me? And I constantly came into an agreement with what God had to say. And it gave me an upgrade in my view, not just of God, but of myself and also the way that I saw the world. So could you talk to those that are watching us right now and tell them what God thinks of them? And could you agree with the way God thinks about you? And would you experience the upgrade that life experience? And then would you pray for the baptism of love? I would love to do that. Uh, before I do that, I was just thinking about, I had an encounter in, in the Philippines uh, that was also very significant where I was supposed to speak to a group of leaders. Actually, the president was going to be there. I was very, very nervous and God gave me a vision. But in that vision, uh, it was actually, I was playing basketball and right before I was about to shoot, I felt so nervous and felt all the pressure. And then uh, from the audience, and then suddenly this father stood up and he said, that's my boy, that's my son, that's my son Leif, woo! And when, <laughs> when that was happening, but here's what happened is when I looked into his eyes and he looked into my eyes, I knew it didn't matter if I scored or did not score. All that matters is my father is well pleased with me. And uh, I, I want you to be able to have an encounter even right now that you will experience, even if you maybe close your eyes, just be still for a few moments, and then just to recognize because something will be transformed in your life when you see God, a God of shalom, a God of peace, a God of love, looking at you as his beloved, as his beloved son, as his beloved daughter, whom he loves and whom he is well pleased. And I just want to release right now the very pleasure of the Father of God. Uh, I know that the, even the goodness of God leads to mass repentance when we just see how good He is and how He sees us. The perfect Father, the perfect God, just bringing shalom into every area of your life. So come, Holy Spirit. Just come right now. Come, sweet Jesus. And come, Father, that the very love, Father, that you had towards your Son, that love, that love, is going to be in me, in you, Christ within you, the hope of glory. Just feel now, even for the next 24 hours, you will feel these waves and waves of that love that is going to overwhelm you, and it is going to heal and transform your life. You are shalom in Him. Shalom means complete. <laughs> you are complete in the Messiah. I believe this wave after wave after wave is coming upon you. You are accepted in the beloved. You're accepted. <laughs>
Everything Jesus did, He did out of an abundance of supernatural, unconditional love. Leif Hetland has been operating in this same powerful anointing, which unlocks God's blessings, healings, miracles, and provision for your everyday life. Now He wants you to be transformed through this powerful impartation. Call now and get Leif Hetland's Supernatural Love Transformation Package, which includes Leif's two life-changing books, Baptism of Love and Transformed by Love, plus his three-part audio CD teaching set, The God Kind of Love. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9298. I believe it is the biggest key to miracles. Uh, I see it in the life of Jesus, how He changed the environment, but it always led to miracles. And some of the greatest miracles I have seen has come from love, because when you can just change the atmosphere, because perfect love takes away fear. Through the powerful impartation you will receive from Leif's Supernatural Love Transformation Package, you will see these results. Transform your your relationships with family, friends, and others. Get set free from impatience, frustration, anger, and failure. Enter into a deep intimacy with Father God. Hear God's voice clearly and experience His love and mercy in a way like never before. Receive this impartation and your prayers will break through to the throne of heaven. Watch the heavens open with signs, wonders, and miracles. The baptism of love is going to lead people. Already we've had thousands of testimonies all over the world of how lives are being changed. That's CEOs, there's pastors, actually professors in theology, psychiatrists, they are suddenly now having an encounter with love that is changing the very being of who they are. Leif Hetlin prays a powerful prayer of impartation which will transform you and literally change the atmosphere around you. When we get comfortable with love, we get comfortable with God. And then you're going to start to see the supernatural is going to be natural. As beloved sons and daughters of a good, good God, they're going to start to do what and what God is doing, and you're going to do it His way. When you read the book, when you listen to the material, your faith is going to grow, and then life is going to pray for you the way He's prayed for thousands to be baptized in love. He that dwells in love dwells in God. Interested in dwelling in God? Don't miss out on getting Leif Hetland's Supernatural Love Transformation Package, which includes Leif's two life-changing books, Baptism of Love and Transformed by Love, plus his three-part audio CD teaching set, The God Kind of Love, yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9298. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 92. Or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural, my next guest is going to stretch your faith. You see, she believes everyone has a cylinder of light or a portal to heaven over themselves. She wants you to activate your cylinder of light. Your gifts to this ministry will help Sid air It's Supernatural in Israel 28 times a week and distribute his evangelistic book to the Jewish people worldwide.